look at a clip they sent me. I get people send me books, <laughs> want me to read to give their approval. People send me all type of text messages. Folks, I don't even recognize the number. Send me uh, movies that Jay Z's supposed to put out. Yeah. Marking Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. I believe it's called the Book of uh, the Book of Clarence. Clarence, where I'm from, you fight to survive. I'm not a bad person. Just playing the cards I was dealt. Mom, one day I'm gonna get you out of here. I have a plan. What are we doing here? Jesus lives there. Hallelujah, baby. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. I need to figure out what inspires him. I can just replicate what he does. Imagine the money people will give us. Hallelujah. Holy shit, I get high as Buddha. Put you on that highway to heaven like I'm your Uber. Oh, dead one, open your eyes. Elijah. What are you trying to prove? And I'm not a nobody. You find faith, and you will find all the answers. When you see me, say hallelujah. Parents, you are guilty of the crime fraud for your own ill-gotten gains. If you give me Jesus of Nazareth, I will let you walk free. And I will give you power, wealth. You'll be somebody. I die before I give him up to Rome. Then death it is. Uh. My congregation gonna operate like a corporation. I want my flowers and flower vases. I want carnations. I want begonias. I want petunias and flower corners. Run! Cause I'm a god, so when you see me, say hallelujah. Friends, in spite of your selfish ways, there is a beautiful soul in there somewhere. Hallelujah, and I'm a god, so when you see me, say hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth. I'm a God, so when you see me, say hallelujah. I'm destined to be here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. Damn. It's not to do. I, Jesus, have sent my I angel. I testify. I testify unto every man. To every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy. This is Revelation 22, 18 here. For I testify unto every man. The apostle. That's right. Want to give us a testimony to everybody. That heareth the words that of the prophecy the of, words this of this book. If any man shall add unto what? these things. If any man shall add unto these You're things. You out there trying to make mockery of Moses, trying to make mockery of the prophets, trying to make mockery of the Messiah, That's right. trying to make mockery of God. If any man shall add unto these things. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. How they make a mockery of God anything to make money that's right anything god people should not be sitting watching some so-called religious movie nowhere amen amen that's not moses that's right that's not abraham amen that's not isaac right who said god had an, an australian accent <laughs> that's right that's right who said Jesus talked like he was from North Philly? Amen. Amen. Who said Abraham spoke like he was from Great Britain? What's the matter with you people? That's right. How did you get so wicked Amen. and so weak? Amen. And so far from God? That's right. Until now you don't care don't what care. society is doing. They're making mockery. That's right. And getting richer and richer while they're making mockery of God and some of the, of the producers and writers and actors of all nationality under the sun. Amen. Amen. Hear me good. Well, I testify. Some of you churches have mm -hmm. plays in your churches. Yeah. I remember when I'm in my false church days. <laughs> We used to fellowship with the church in South Philly. Mm -hmm. They would always have plays. Mm -hmm. Like what's going on now, they have a big play out. Jesus Christ Superstar, that's a lie. That's a lie. 
Jesus ain't never addressed himself as no superstar. No. That's just as much as a lie as you religious people that made him the second person <laughs> in the Godhead. That's a lie. That's a lie. The Bible says in him the well of all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That's it's right. all in one. That's right. Hey, man, it's not in them, it's all in him. That's it. What did he say, son? Revelation 22 and verse 18. What is it? For I testify unto every man. Every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this so book. So God's people should never buy tickets. Mm -hmm. To go see some religious play, that's blasphemy. That's right. The moment a man step up there and try to make mockery of Jesus, try to make mockery of the prophets, try to make mockery of the apostles. That's religious mockery. Amen. And you go buy a ticket to go see it, you are promoting blasphemy. That's right. If you didn't know it, you know it now. That's right. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Hear me, world, hear That's this. Right. God Almighty that made the worlds and all things therein, he is not mocked. Not mocked. That's right. You That's bunch right. of religious hypocrites. God is not mocked. That be not you deceived. You are religious hypocrites. Amen. You that go to church, you that go to the mosque, and you that go to the synagogue, many of you are nothing ahead, but man. religious hypocrites. That's right. Someone say, well, I can win people to Christ by putting on a hat. If you want to win people to Christ, do it the way the apostles done it. That's right. The apostles didn't have to pretend. They, they preached the word. Preach the word. That's what they did. That's right. Jesus said, I'm making fishes of men. That's right. All you got to do is preach, preach the, the word. word and God will do the rest. That's right. Eh? That's it. Don't have to put on no play. That's right. Don't have to pretend. Don't have to hire no actors or actresses. That's right. Preach the word. The Bible's too real to hire some actor. That's right. That's it, man. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? For I testify unto every I man. I testify to every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. God that hear the words. Of the prophecy of this book. Of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. If any man shall add unto these things. God, God shall God add, add unto him, him the plagues that are written in this book. God gonna plague you. And if any man yeah, shall. That's it. God gonna plague you. That's right. Any to man. you out there that write these scripts. That's supposed to be religious plays or religious movies, you add to the Bible. Hmm. That's, That's right. what you do. You add to the scriptures. Oh, yes. You take away from the scriptures. That's right. Amen. And you put things in there the word of God ain't never said. That's true. And when you put something in the movie that's project, supposed to project the scriptures, a certain event that took place, and that thing contradict God's word, That's it's right. a lie. It's a lie. Do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. It's just a straight up lie and this biblical mockery. That's right. Give me the book of Jude now. Now in the book of Jude chapter 1. Begin at verse 1. I Jude only have one chapter. That's I right. want you to follow me in the scriptures. Amen. It's right next to Revelation so you can't get lost. <laughs> only right. have one chapter here. That's right. All right, son, let's have it. Jude chapter 1 and verse 1. All right. Jude the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude the servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. Hold it. You didn't say Jude, the apostle of Jesus Christ. No, the servant of Jesus Christ. I want to straighten that out because a lot of you preachers have said Jude, the apostle. Didn't say that. No. Never. There's no way in the book that says Jude was an apostle. No. Jude was the brother of James. Brother of James. And he was a servant, a follower. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. It didn't say Jude was an apostle. No. Uh, all right. Jude. Give me good now. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. It was James' brother. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Now, <laughs> the whole world, hear me good, need to be sanctified. Sanctified. Takes God to sanctify you. That's right. What is being sanctified? That's it. When you are truly sanctified, you are set apart, set, apart. set aside, Mm -hmm. For the usage of God only. That's right. Not God and the street. No, no. Not God and party. That's right. Not church and cross dresser. That's right. 
Hear me good, I want to soak you while I have you. That's right. What did he say? Sa and that are sanctified by God the and Father. And that is sanctified. Read the whole thing here. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. Brother of James. To them that are sanctified. To them that are sanctified. By God the Father. By God the Father. By the Spirit of God. That's right. Takes the spirit of God to sanctify men. Oh yeah. Take the spirit of God to set you aside, set right. you apart. Right. And these churches today are not sanctified. No. Because if you were sanctified, you wouldn't be smoking. No. You wouldn't be drinking, gambling. How in the world a man gonna be sanctified? He can't make up his mind whether to put on a dress that morning or pants. <laughs> That's right. You ain't sanctified, you're crankedified. Crankedified. Hey Amen. You're crankedified. <laughs> That's right. A sanctified cross dresser. Mm. A, 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 a sanctified cross dresser? A cross dresser. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's right. A sanctified homosexual. My Lord. Glory to God, glory to God, you better get this. That's right. There is no sanctified homosexual in the world. No, no. Not in the world. That's right. That's right. Thank God I want to hit you while I have it. That's why these viewers that watch this program can't stand it and say he preach out of hatred and anger. One woman, amen, there's so many people that's, amen, logging up getting the program, some getting it to critique it, some getting it. So one woman, she must have been on, uh, in a bedroom or in the bathroom somewhere. It looked like it was a shower curtain in back of her. <laughs> she played the messages of the truth of God when I was in Texas and I was blasting false prophets like hey man, Joel Alstein and T.D. Snakes and Crepler O'Dala. And after she played a little bit of it, she said, uh, we, we rebuked the devil. We rebuke the devil. She said, God said, touch not my anointed mm. and do my prophet no harm. All of them devils I called out, none of them was God's anointed. <laughs> That's right. Not one? That's right. And ain't none of them pulpit racketeers. Racketeers. Amen. It's God's anointed. That's when right. you get a man that's anointed by God, you couldn't pull him out of the Bible if you wired the Bible with 10,000 atomic bombs. <laughs> if he right. survived, he's going to wipe the sit off and stay with the Bible. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. He's going to stay with God's word. That's it. You won't be able to pull him out that book to save your life. That's right. God, man, eat and eat breathe and sleep Preach scripture. It, That's it. Won't come out. Hallelujah. You won't, you can't offer me nothing. No. Nothing under the sun. Somebody say, we offer you several hundred thousand dollars. What's that? What is that? My God, man, that's nothing to me. That's right. Hey, man, that's, that's, that's not even peanuts. <laughs> that's right. I don't even look at that as peanuts because God made that. Amen. Huh? Venus is God's creation. That's right. Money is nothing touching God's everlasting word. That's right. When you either you walk with God or you don't. Or you either don't. you can be bought or you can't. That's right. Huh? Amen. Amen. When God make a preacher, when God make him, God make him. You bear in mind, he can never be bought by nothing and nobody That's as right. long as he stay and keep God in front of him. In the book of Numbers, chapter 22. Says what? And at verse 17. What did he say? For I will promote thee unto very great honor. Yeah, yeah, had Balak. Glory Amen. to God. One there to give Balaam great honor. Great honor. Amen. And you bear in mind, man, Balak was offering Balaam all type of thing. That's right. Give chapter verse again. Numbers chapter 22 and we're at verse 17. Yes. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. I will do whatever you say. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. You know, Balaam was God's servant. That's right. Balak wanted Israel, the people of God, to be cursed. To be cursed. So he figured if he take Balaam mm -hmm. to different places, mm -hmm. change of atmosphere, That's right. and do sacrifice, yeah. 
He'll get Balaam to change his mind. That's right. The thing that Balak, or rather Balak overlooked, mm -hmm. was the spirit of God was in Balaam. That's right. You see, when the spirit of God is in the prophets, the prophets going to stick to God's word. Amen. There's no maybe so about it. They're going to stick to God's word. That's right. When these men will sell out on God for notoriety, yeah. for, money. for money, amen, for fame, amen. for fortune, they <laughs> never was of God. No. Because when you truly walk with God, you'll be sanctified. That's right. Set apart for his glory. That's right. Thank God and for his glory only. That's right. What did he say? For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. What is it? Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. Curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak. What? If Balak would give me his house. This is how I feel. Amen. If Balak would give me his house. This is what the man of God said. That's right. You don't find a preacher say that today. Oh, no. These, these old liars will go off in a fake tongue. And yes, they would. Squinch their eyes and make up a tongue. Supposed to be speaking in some tongues when they get ready uh, enough to excite your hand and lead it right to your pocketbook. That's right. That's right. If he's of God, he had the same spirit that was in the prophet Balaam. Balaam, amen. Listen at what God said out of him. If Balak would give me his if house. If Balak amen. would give me his house. Full of silver and full, gold. Full. Full. Full of silver and full. gold. Amen. Glory to God. Full of silver and gold. Full of it, of silver and I, gold. I cannot I go. I cannot go beyond the word I of the cannot. Lord. I cannot. Cannot. I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord my of God. The Lord my God to do less. To do less or more. Or more. That's right. Why don't your pastor believe that? Amen. His old money loving rack of tears. Amen. Mega church loving hypocrite. Do That's you hear right. what the word of God says here? If Balak would give me his house. I haven't seen a preacher on social media that talk this talk here. No. Not one. Not one. These men, the whole time they're over the air, they close their eyes and beg you for money. Yes, they would. They make you think if you don't give God no money, you're going to die. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Like some of you preachers that's... Uh, pastoring branch churches are some of the fake organizations you're in. Amen. Them preachers ain't think the overseer ain't thinking about your soul. No. The only thing he's concerned about is how much tithes come in there, how much offering come in there, and what does it take for the month. That's right. I had a Spanish brother contact me uh, last week out of Colorado mm. in some apostolic organization. <laughs> he said he'd been following up a broadcast for quite some time now. He said now he's, he's starting to preach. He's a pastor. Mm. He's, he's, he's leaving preaching this holy sanctified message. Mm -hmm. And he told me, Pastor Jennings, you're so right. The only thing my organization uh, contact me about is how much tithing and how much offering. My Lord. They don't care about none of us. They don't care about who's saved. They don't care no. about how many need help. They don't care about nothing. That's right. These preachers was raised by the devil. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. Amen. You know you have some ahead, fish. <laughs> That's God. Right. You have some fish that are farm raised. <laughs> That's right. I don't like farm-raised fish. Amen. Oh, no. I want something where somebody went down in a body of water mm -hmm. and bait that hook Amen. and reeled it in. That's right. Or give me something where someone took a net and threw it out in the water. I don't want somebody fishing in your, uh, your fish tank. <laughs> That's right. Not that. No, no. Or uh, trying to catch some fish out of your swimming pool. Amen. I don't want that. Amen. No, sir. Oh, no. Amen. So it's just like there are some fish that are farm raised. Mm -hmm. Man, these preachers are hell raised. That's right. Raised by the devil out of hell. That's right. That's why he pleased you. He pleased you. That's why he preached what you love to hear. Mm -hmm. That's why you like to get close to him and may make you his friend, his buddy, right. his pal, so he can, especially if you're a, a big money giver. Oh, yes.
Oh, man, hey, man, I often thank Moreover when that cross-dresser Tyler Perry went off into some fake tongue. Hey, man, Casper the ghost couldn't do better. <laughs> hey, man, right. that Looney Tune spirit. <laughs> uh, uh, now, this is how backward it is. Amen. It ain't no lay member in here have the right or the authority to lay hands on me. No, no, no. No lay member. No. That's backwards. That's backwards. No lay member should be laying hands on the bishop. No way. The bishop's supposed to be laying hands on the lay member. That's right. And that cross dresser laid hands on him and he got that million dollar ghost. And then while he's <laughs> up there shaking, some old foolish woman, some woman walking by screaming in the microphone, push the baby out. My Lord, my that? Lord. What was that? Push the baby out. What well, I know T.D. Jakes is big, but I know the man was pregnant. Amen. She was yelling, push the baby out. My Lord. Push the baby out. There wasn't no baby in there. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. You religious fakers. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. Amen. We're going to blast it to hell. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Everybody in the world. Everybody. Come on back to scripture here. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Come on back. You got away from God's word. Come on back. That's right. Glory to God ever so often, whenever there's a car dealer, and they put out a new car, hey man, they have to make a recall. Oh yes. They get the bugs out. That's right. Thank God I'm making a recall on religion. Oh yes. Because it's full of bugs. Bugs. Hey man, all type of lies got in there. Oh yeah. That got the pulpit and the followers all jumping to it and nobody searched the scriptures to find out if what he believed or what he said That's is right. even true. That's right. All right, go back to the book of, uh, uh, the, the book of Jude. Time. Back in I'm Jude. I'm done with Bellum. Listen at this now. Back in Jude chapter one and verse one. That's happened. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Yes. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Them that are sanctified by God the Father. And preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Yeah, you preserved. 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 To take the spirit to sanctify you. That's right. And take the shedding of the blood to preserve you. That's right. What did he say here? Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Yes. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you. And what? And exhort you that you should earnestly, you should earnestly contend, contend for, for the, the faith, faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Yes. But there are certain men crept in unaware. Listen at this now. Amen. There are certain men crept, crept in, in unaware, unaware, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. I want you viewers to get this, and Amen. you that are here. Amen. Certain men. Certain men crept in unaware. And they spilt out of so-called Bible college. Hmm. And infiltrated churches That's right. by the millions. That's right. Not called of God, give me good. <laughs> Not sent of God, give me good. That's but right. they got their diploma from some college some and school. they say that's how they become a preacher. You right. know preacher? No. All of you that are listening to my big mouth. That's right. School don't make preachers. No, no. Being a preacher is a divine act of God. That's right. And you're not preaching unless you preach the word. Preach the word. My God, man, you're not preaching unless you preach God's word. That's it. Amen. Never mind preaching homiletics and theology and philosophy. Oh, no. no Amen. No. The Bible said that uh, you're purified. To see and you have purified your souls you know, obeying and the obeying truth. the truth. And Jesus said, You're clean through the word, the word that I speak unto you. So you got to stay in the word That's and it. follow the word. And the book of scriptures must be used. That's right. First and foremost, foremost in the face of the church. That's right. That's why you would never see me with a sermon already written out. No. Never. Never. Never already written out. It's already written. That's right. Huh? That's right. The moment you put the Bible under your arm, that's the message. That's the message. Huh? That's right. Somebody say, I wonder what Pastor Jen is going to preach today. Just go get your Bible. <laughs> that's it. The moment you touch the book, that's the message. That's right. Thank God it's God everlasting word. That's right. Huh? 
What did he say, son? For there are certain men crept certain in men unawares. Crept in. Unawares. Unawares. Who were before of old ordained. They were before ordained. To this condemnation. To <laughs> Amen. Or they were ordained to this condemnation. To this condemnation. What kind of men were they? Ungodly men. And that's the truth. What kind? Ungodly men. An ungodly man is married again while his first wife is living. That's right. An ungodly man is out here switching. <laughs> that's right. An ungodly man be smoking and drinking. Amen. An ungodly. ungodly man will beat up his wife. That's right. An ungodly man will carjack and steal. Amen. An ungodly man will do these things. That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says? For there are certain men crept in unawares. I don't care ways. because you carry a Bible, amen, and wear a kufi, amen, <laughs> and carry the Quran, amen, or, uh, or carry the Old Testament. What do I care? That's right. Thank God if you ungodly, ungodly. you just ungodly. That's right. Eh? For there are certain men crept certain in unawares. Men. Doesn't certain. matter what color you are either. No, no, certain men. It just says certain men. Certain men. That then what? Crept in unawares. Creepers. <laughs> That's right. Creepers. Huh? Amen. Creeps. <laughs> That's right. Sneaking around. Sneaking around. A bunch of creepers. That's right. Do you hear this? For well, there are certain men crept certain in unawares. Men crept in unawares. Who were before of old ordained to this un to this condemnation. What are they? Ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. They are turning the God's grace mercy into lasciviousness. To extreme lust. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. They deny God. Th that's right. Deny. Him. They deny God. That's right. They deny the fact that God came in the flesh that's and right. Jesus Christ was he. That's right. They deny him. Deny him. And if you look at the world today, oh, yes. just look at social media. Oh, yes. So, so, social media have its good effects, and God knows it's just have its negative effects. That's right. Because it's a platform for gossip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Platform for gossip. That's right. Hey, man, I got a television interview coming up this week. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And I know what he want to talk about. I know you want me to talk about T.D. Snakes, but it's more <laughs> going on in the world than that. That's right. Huh? That's right. Only thing I can do is uh, testify to what I see. I speak that which I what know. You, what you see. Okay, man, and I testify to what I see. What you see. All, the, all that other stuff that he's accused of, I don't know nothing about. Right. I, I don't know whether he was doing the sloppy toppy. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I <don't, laughs> That's right. I don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know nothing about. <laughs> I don't know that. That's right. I don't. Know. <laughs> Amen. I don't know who he was playing house was, with. <laughs> I don't know. That's right. I know none of that. Right. But one thing I do know, I do know <laughs> <laughs> that he was at Diddy's party. Mm -hmm. He was dumb enough, they videotaped him videotaped it. with shorts on, mm -hmm. dancing, and his family dancing. That's right. He took a picture with Diddy. Diddy laid his hand, his head on him. My Lord. He did a sign language with Diddy. My Lord. He sat there at the table with a champagne glass there. Mm. So all I can do is speak what I know. What you know. All that other stuff. I heard he, he said that. He's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. Am I right, man? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead and take a cross. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Go ahead and take God. 
Jakes, I want you to hear this. Amen. That's just a bold-faced lie. That's right. Because 68, you're young. That's and right. And that's not too old to be a freak. No. Anytime in the Bible, that's right. they are making babies at 300, yeah. 400, 500, 600, that's right. 700, and they're making babies. Making babies. Man, 68 years old, you ain't nothing but a baby compared to them in the Bible. That's right. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. So you're not too old no. to be a freak. No, no. No way. That's a lie out of hell. That's right. Am I right, folks? Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. You 68 years old, you too old, man. That's one of the biggest lies among your other lies. Among other lies. Hear me good. I'm going to make it so plain, you have to get angry. That's right. That's right. Like I said to the church the other day, that the Black Caucus of Ministers wrote me three letters. They wanted to make sure I get it, so they sent three big letters to the church with about three or four pages of a petition signed mm. by so many preachers in the country mm -hmm. to mediate, to have a meeting. Want to mediate between me and Jake the Snake. <laughs> I started to tear the letters up, mm -hmm. but I said, no. <laughs> now I'm going to use this time. If they're serious about coming to the table, Right. I'm going to use this time, bring our ministers, some of our brothers, and we're going to strike this out with scripture. That's right. That's, that's, that's what we want to do. That's right. We want to strike this out with scripture. Amen. Prove the fact Prove it. that the church can coexist mm -hmm. with homosexuality. Right. Prove it. Prove it. Prove the fact that a man of God is evolving towards homosexuality. My Lord, my Lord. He said, some churches have their theory, uh, others have their theory. He said, I'm evolving. I'm not. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Until God evolved, ain't never evolved. That's right. He made the woman for the man. For the man. That's it. I will never evolve from that. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. So I started to tie the letters up, but I changed my mind. I talked to Dan early in the week. I said, yeah, call him. Mm -hmm. let's, let's come to the table. Let's, let's strike this out with Bible. That's right. I mean, if the black caucus get wrong, then I'll get a hold of them with the Bible. That's right. I don't care who you are. Pastor Jennings don't care what degrees you hold. I don't care what college you went to. That's right. I don't care how popular you are. That's right. Anybody from the black caucus side with homosexuality, I take God's word and beat you asunder.